Hi folks, it's Jim. Uh, we continue with the uh, Takano. Uh, today we're doing the first part of a small series of uh, how to build this big bugger of a propeller. It's a five-bladed prop. I had to design it and build it myself because we can't buy one anywhere that is a correct size and look and so forth. So, let's get cracking. And if you like uh, my videos, I'd really appreciate if you subscribe, uh, click a like and all that kind of stuff. Tell your friends. We need to build some uh, YouTube lookers here. <laughs> Whatever. Thanks. Wait, there's more. Coming next is the uh, design and build of the indexer. This is super important to drill all these uh, holes into an aluminum plate, which makes it foolproof that you'll never throw a blade. So come back soon and uh, click that like and subscribe and do all that good stuff. Thanks. First thing I wanted to do is do the hub base. In this case, it was uh, 80 millimeters in diameter and seven millimeters thick. I uh, purchased a bunch of propeller blades with a 12 inch pitch of the desired shape that I wanted. Using the dimensions off the end of the propeller blade, I then designed a uh, retaining block that uses those exact dimensions so that the prop end fits in perfect with no wiggle, uh, no movement, etc. So then I uh, 3D printed the block using PLA and I believe 215 degrees C of EAT. This gives me a really good weld, but also can uh, give you a little bit of a overrun on some of the layers. So several uh, fits later, it uh, fit perfectly. So after verifying that the fit in uh, CAD was perfect uh, with the 3D print, I then used a circular pattern and uh, created five of the uh, retaining blocks. This gives me five propellers, so everything was just going great. So with everything printed and verified against the CAD drawing, it was time to add the center hub, the holes, the lightning holes, and the retaining holes for the propellers. Once the prop blade retaining holes were made, I can now use those to center the X nut retaining depth to the back of the hub. Again, I'm using a test print to make sure the uh, X nut recesses are the perfect depth and the correct fit for the X nuts. Uh, what I found is uh, it's best to just purchase a whole bunch, at least a hundred of these things, so that uh, all nuts are different, so I got them all from the same batch. With the prop hub printed and verified that all the uh, blades fit perfectly, it's time to move on to the spinner. So for the spinner, I simply created a profile using the prop hub side view to get the profile that I wanted and, and use the revolve tool to uh, create this solid object. I then cut out where the propeller is and then did a circular pattern to create the five cutouts, as you can see in the uh, image. After lots of uh, testing, I found that the best way to print the propeller is to add a uh, support at the very end of it, i.e. the pointy bit, uh, flip it upside down and place it vertically on the build plane. This method works wonderful with absolutely no run out at high RPM. 